Hi everyone, how you doing? Today, as you see, we're making chicken. This is cilantro lime chicken. Add some cilantro I need to use up. We're gonna make this, it's simple. My nephew said it's the second best dish that I've made in all the dishes I've made. I take that as a compliment. Let's get our stuff together and make it right now. So right off the bat, we're gonna use some cilantro. A little bit of honey, that's from my buddy Al, of course. I'm going to have to get a refill, I think. Four chicken breasts is what this recipe calls for. A little bit of minced garlic, two or three cloves, whatever you like. I didn't have any cloves, so I just had to grab it out of the fridge. A little bit of lime, once again, I didn't have a lime, but I've got lime juice. Some salt and pepper. And that's it. So like I said, I'm trying to salvage my cilantro. There's not a lot left that's any good, but we'll do the best we can. Chop it up. That's what we got to play with. Into our measuring cup, just because I need to mix stuff, goes the garlic, the cilantro, the lime juice, which is about a quarter cup-ish. Next up, some olive oil. Two tablespoons. One, two and two tablespoons of honey. Now I really got to get a replacement jar. Then we'll just mix all this together. Mix, 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 mix. And half of this, just half, is going to go into our bag because we're going to marinate our chicken. And it's not really a ton either. Uh, it looks almost nothing. But we'll get our four chicken breasts in there. Like that, seal her up. And we're just going to mix it around. There's enough in there to coat everything, so that was good. And when we're done, I'm just making sure it's completely sealed onto a plate and into the fridge. At least three hours. I did mine overnight. So out of the fridge, back into our pie tin that we were using, and I pulled out the rest of the marinade, because we're gonna use that a little later. So now our next step is to pull out our salt and pepper. Give her a good salt. Well, we should be giving it a good pepper, but I kind of forgot. Flip it over. And do the same on this side. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And we're good to go. I'll realize when I put it back in the frying pan that maybe I should salt it. So here's our frying pan tablespoon-ish of olive oil, whatever you need. We just need the bottom of the pan coated. I love moving it around. Of course, it never stays. But it covers most of the bottom of the pan, so that's good. Medium heat, medium-ish heat. And then go our chicken breasts. I think I got just enough room for all the chicken breasts. Like that. Okay, like that. This is going to be about six, seven, eight minutes each side till it starts looking like that. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Six to eight minutes until the other side's nice and browned up. And while we're waiting for it to cook, our marinade mixture is going to go on top. Oh yeah. Smells really good. I'm just trying to make sure that we spread out the sauce and the cilantro. 
because cilantro is a pretty strong herb to use. Oh, look at that. Look at how golden brown that is. That's beautiful. I can't wait to eat this stuff. There. I'll just let it cook for a little longer. Put some more marinade on. And we're almost there. We're almost ready to eat. So I pretty well used up most of the marinade. I'm just going to flip it over one more time. Oh, look how nice and dark that is. Chicken's almost done. And you want to make sure there's no pink in it. But if you watch it, you can get it so that it's just done perfect and it's nice and juicy which I hope that's what I've done and these breasts are pretty big too so I think I'm gonna have to cut mine because oh look at that because we're making sandwiches here they are <laughs> the bottom of the tin so thin that it's just so hot we'll put it aside Here's the bun I'm going to make my sandwich with. I butter both sides, a couple slices of cheese, and grab the chicken, which is still hot. So I'm going to cut it in half. And look at that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see how juicy it is, but it's really juicy. And that's pretty well it. We're going to put a little bit of mustard on top just because. Put the lid on, and there's our sandwich, just like that. Yummy. I got to tell you, that's one hell of a sandwich. And I think you're going to like it if you make it. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.